Welcome back. Hoping you guys are having a fabulous, outstanding, insane time with the current festival. Today, I wanted to bring this video to you, right? So, I made this video similar, a similar video, three-ish, two-ish months ago. I made it when Liz dropped. So, I don't know when her festival was, but I think that was a while ago. Um, so, I made it then. I talked about all the substats, the new highest CC unit, and now the list got updated. So, we went through ReZero. We went through, now, this phase. We also, I think, went through Esterosa. I don't know what the order is, bro. But it's been a while I made this video. Today, I want to show this to you. And the new updated highest CC, and we have Merlin on here also. It's looking like a pretty cool list. Let me let me hop into this and show it to you. So we're hopping over here to the uh, the site that has everything. Remember, it's UR level 100, Super Awakening 6, Special Level 1 um, being the ultimate, Holy Item included, Stats and Fighting Class um, excluded, Equipment and Normal Costumes. So that is how it's going to go. Keep that in mind. Number one, still maintaining it. We have Liz here. Just this is CC, by the way. Okay, we're ordered by CC. Let's say I were to switch it. I can go and order it by HP. Griamore being the number one HP in the game. That's crazy. Deanne up there, too. Damn. Elaine, damn. Reinhardt, damn. I expected that, but still. Okay. Merlin? Milum? Wow. But yeah, so again, you can also order it by attack. Zeldris has the highest attack. That's right. Ludoseal, 100%. Brunhild, Red Roxy. Estoros. Yeah, Red... Dude, this unit right here. Okay. I said it. Red Brunhild is kind of nuts she's kind of nuts not even kind of she's she's nuts okay but it's definitely up there on the uh the damage here where is uh yeah okay where's yeah trader melee's down here in comparison all these units have better attack wow 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 all right but yeah we were on fighting class we care about that right now go back to fighting class no no not uh how do i how do i do this do this do this and then do fighting class I broke the site, bro. All right, I fixed it. Okay, it took a it took a minute. But here we go. We have Liz at number one, 96,000 HP being pretty damn good. A max fighting class, or again, CC is what we call it, obviously. But it's 34,000. Right behind that, but just a little bit, is Earth Deanne. Obviously, she's just insane. Her, her CC is just insane. That's why whenever you go against a team, you usually get out CC'd. Like, this is a team that I've seen recently a lot. Uh, moving up, Trader Meliodas. Again, a light and a dark unit. Gotta be at the top of the list or around top five. That's true. Invincible Escanor, still maintaining that much up here. But again, he does have a Relic. He does have all of that. So remember, when these units get Relics, they're just obviously going to jump up a lot more. He has a Relic. Again, these two don't have a Relic. So keep in mind, some units will jump up to the top. But as we get more Relics, as the entire you know box gets Relics, a lot of the list will shift, right? For example, you have a Kinda down here. She has a Relic. Merlin has a Relic. Hence why they're high up there. As more other festival units get him, for example, Esta, what is it? Not Esta, but Assault Meliodas. Maybe he does some decent jumps. Still missing his fifth weapon, but that's how it's going to go. Um, again, Sage Merlin is here. Her HP is pretty sick. So it's 94,150. We have 7575. Again, you can see it's like a significant jump, kind of, um, from here. More than Escanor, but less than Esterosa. Here, it's 5,223. I don't think this is defense. Yeah, defense. This is 5018. Now on the CC, right? It's only a little bit less, which that's not that bad. Um, she doesn't have her like fifth weapon, all of that. But I think Esterosa also doesn't have that. So they both are missing a costume set. She, I think, just has that free one we just got. Um, but other than that, that's really it. Then we have again Merlin, as mentioned. Echidna also, which I'm not really shocked, but at the same time, I am shocked. She is high up on the list and she does have some pretty good CC. 34,000 in comparison to the top, or like 34, 520 to 34, 886. So, pretty good. Again, that's considering you have maxed out cosmetics, which a lot of free to plays don't. Still, it's it's a pretty significant number. More than Zeldris with a relic, right? So, both have a relic, but again, this is Zeldris with a relic, still out CCs. Gother has a relic, remember that. Tarmiel has a relic, Rimuru has a relic, um, but that's also pretty cool. Rimuru is up there too. Red Brunhild up there as well demon chandler recently grabbing a relic moving up where's cusack though damn damn cusack's not anywhere near up here and he and he recently did get his relic damn dude cusack most shafted festival is that what it is or is it still old fez king which one is it bro which one is it um we have valenti here we have archangel uh ludosiel sariel evil nebula zeldris yeah he's again for a really recent released unit he is pretty down there, but he does kind of out CC some festival units. Um, does Zeldris have a relic? He doesn't, right? I don't think so. Somebody confirm that. I think I'm stupid here. I don't think he has a relic yet, right? Only demons we really have a relic for is Chandler and what is it? And uh, Cusack. Yeah. Okay. 
Moving forward, Fez King, basic stuff. We got Midsummer Sun Roxy here. Perg Bond with a relic, remember that. Tarmiel with a relic. This king does not have his relic yet, so there is that. Scotty, we have the Spring Elaine. Also pretty much up there, so is so is Shuna. It's not half bad. And this is literally a 1cc difference. That's 43, this is 42. That's actually pretty funny. And um, we have Sariel here. We have the new recently released um, PvE unit, which is again, this, this is the like Deathmatch Deanna, I guess we call it now. Red Easton, all of that. Here's Milum, here's ReZero Rem. We have Assault Meliodas, this kind of low on the list. Again, no relic. When he gets it, probably he'll jump up a significant amount. But for now, he is pretty low. We have Brunhild here. We have this Liz, which deserves to be there, only if it was more down. We have Reinhard, also pretty low, which, you know, okay. Mono's here. Where's Cusack? How far down? Is, is Cusack even on this list? Damn. There he is. Cusack's at 32,871. Maybe they forgot Cusack got a relic recently and they didn't update it. I know they updated it with Merlin, so they should have associated the, the relic to it. But he's down there. 32,000? Are there any other Fez units this low? Let's see. There, there has to be another Fez unit this low, right? No. Don't, don't do my boy Cusack like that. Come on. It's Freyr recently released, so I guess that's fine. But poor guy. There's not a single Fez lower than him. Ouch. Damn, dude. It's Demon, St Demon State Shafted. Yeah. All right. I don't see any Fez unit below that. But again, see the list. It does make a lot of sense. I think it is 100% accurate. I still don't like, like refer to this as, you know, pure fact. So with everything that stands, you know, a lot of the recent units are kind of ranking pretty high. Again, this is Summer Merlin, which is also kind of shocking. She is pretty kind of low, if you were to say. Melly's above her. We have this, like, Easton on her, um, on her like that. We have Rizzo Ram here. But this Chandler is, again, not the greatest CC, but it's fine. We have Perg, uh, what is it, Reinhardt Bond, not Perg Bond. We have all this basic stuff here. Reinhardt again. Assault Melly will jump up when a uh, Relic drops, so don't worry about that. But that's, that's basically the list. Recently updated again with the update. Um, for the 50 million download fez but as it stands right so with the recent festivals they've been jumping up their cc's immaculate they have a really good standing esterosa recently released right right before her okay was again esterosa so this is top six this is top five this was before esterosa this is before liz the recent festivals have just been ranking on cc so as we move forward you're gonna see that most of the units are getting to that stage again what do we have here? Echidna, recently also released, pops up. Tarmiel pops to the top. This one, to the top. So, that's basically how they've been handling it. As festivals move forward, the CC is just higher and higher. With light and dark festivals, they usually just out CC completely. Liz on the top, you see that there. Number three being Tritomeli. Yeah. So, that's really what I want to show you here today. This is the entire list, the updated one. For all the CC rankings, HP rankings, um, attack rankings, let me know what you think about it. Again, the, this Merlin, even though her passive isn't like immaculate breaking, her substats are pretty damn good. Hence why she is up there. So that is something to keep in mind. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun, stay safe. That's been it for me.